What happened? Okay, is it working? Is it twerking? Okay. I don't know if it's twerking yet. Okay, live chat. I don't know. My power just like shut off. I really don't have like a reason. It just kind of shut off. Let me try to get it up for the Twitch girly pops too real quick because if for some reason it wasn't letting me do. Oh my God, where did my camera go? What the hell? Ugh. Why did it not do that? Video capture device, display capture. Ooh, video. I don't know. My power decided to randomly turn off, and now that I have rebooted and started up everything again, it seemingly has all reset and is being a huge pain. So you never like to encounter this during a live stream, but hey, it happens sometimes. I don't think that I'm going to be able to go live on Twitch, unfortunately. I don't know what's going on. That's weird. But I do want to address the ones that I missed uh, so that they, they don't fall into the void forever. Uh, Wolfie Gullet, thank you so much for subscribing with Prime. Hello. Uh, Ghost of Aqua, thank you so much for the super chat. Hi, Jordy. Been watching you since you had 2,000 subs. 2,000? You've been around for over two years now, then. Holy cow. You're one of the OGs, Ghost of Aqua. Thank you so much for still hanging out. Uh, Yvette Moore, appreciate that. I believe that none of it happened, and she gets to look all great and be proud. Nope, she did not get to 500. She made it up. Mm. It's all a lie. It's all a lie. That would not shock me in one bit. Lies are pretty commonplace around here. Oh my gosh, I'm like not even in the frame. Uh, no, other way. Okay. That's better, I think. By the way, if you send something in, it's not going to pop up on the screen like it normally does because my Streamlabs is being obtuse at the moment. Tara Drury, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Welcome to the shorties. Hello. Uh, Wolf Girl VS, appreciate the Twitch subscription. I'm not sure that you're going to hear this, but appreciate that. Thank you so much for becoming a member on Twitch. All right, let's get back to where we were, if that's cool with y'all. Where were we? Oh, yeah, she was telling us about gaining weight in weight. That's right. Whew. Crystal's dad said Amber needed to cut off Jordy's power. Honestly, I feel like that's what happens sometimes. Cut the main frame. It reminds me of that one Eugenia stream when I got copyright, when I got copyrighted in the middle of streaming. That's what I thought happened for a second, but then everything went dark. Okay, let's continue. So I'm holding on to a lot right now. So me gaining that. Why can I not hear anything? Oh, I know what happened. Whenever this happens, I always have to redo my configuration on my headset. One second. Actually, I'm going to let it like play back a little bit. So you guys like don't just sit here in silence. I'll be right back. I need to go cry. So that's very unfortunate. I am back in the 500s and it's just like, I'm super swollen. I know I am. Like I feel it in my legs. Not once did I like binge or anything like that. I do want to make that very well known that I just like overate every single day. 
because my body was really truly just like getting used to and like adapting to the fact that I was eating below 2000 calories. And then bam, out of nowhere for almost a week, I stopped doing that. And I'm gonna say I was probably eating about 3000 calories a day. And my body is like, whoa. So it's, you know, I've gained weight in sodium. I've gained weight in weight and fat and water, whatever it may be. But like, since I do have lipedema, Whatever it may be, whatever in the universe that made me gain 12 pounds, I don't know what exactly. <laughs> She's high here. Jordy is the 12 pounds Amber Lynn lost, and he's back. That's me. Weighing in at a very dainty 12 pounds. She's back in the 500. Yeah. We back, y'all. Quarter ton era has arrived. Yeah, I'm sorry to the Twitch people. I don't know what's going on with my Streamlabs. It doesn't want to let me do it right now. So I apologize for that. Uh, in lymphedema, um, my body holds on to water and fluid very, very easily. So I'm holding on to a lot right now. So me gaining that much weight in such a short amount of time for some people would be very shocking. For like the normal person, it's not possible unless you're eating so many calories, it's insane. But someone like me, it's rather easy for that to happen. Especially because when I was losing weight, like my legs haven't felt that amazing in so long. And what I mean by that is like I had less fluid and like water retention than I've had in years. And it was just feeling so good. It was becoming like just easier to walk and just do things in general. Now like that I've gained. See like wouldn't that be motivating? If it was to a point where you couldn't walk comfortably or breathe comfortably. I just feel like I would always think to myself. Well if I eat correctly then I won't always be out of breath. I don't know. Just what it would register to me as I would feel more excited about being able to breathe than I would what whatever she's going to eat, you know? Like, how? why would you ever trade in being able to breathe or walk for a meal? Well, you sound very ignorant right now because BED is a disorder and sometimes she doesn't get to choose. Is that so? Is that so? Breathing is overrated. That would just scare me. That would scare me into not eating. You know, if I had to like breathe like, a, like I was breathing through a straw all the time. It's addiction. <sighs> Caitlin Lawrence, thank you so much for that. I'm back like Amber's list weight. I think you meant to say lost. <laughs> Too bad you can't edit those super chats. I know what you mean though, Caitlin, and that's all that matters. Welcome back. Oh, hi, Dev. And like 10 pounds, like I feel that in my legs more than I feel it anywhere else. Um, I'm holding on to a lot of fluid currently, so it just sucks and I'm not happy about it, but I wanted to be transparent and as you guys know, that is what I'm currently going through. Good morning, everybody. I woke up with Rarity laying on top of me. Look at her cuteness and her cute little paw, her cute little face. Oh. Yeah, that's a cute little face right there. Hey guys, so I'm not fully done getting ready for the day. I want to wear my hair down. I do want to wear lipstick and stuff, but I did want to just come on here and tell you guys I did weigh myself today because I got back on track yesterday and I'm feeling really good about it. So I want to add that here. Okay, so it is the next day after being back on track. So let's see how the scale has reacted to that. Hmm. So she's been back on track for a whole day now, which means she ate 2,000 calories. So I don't know. Should we expect her to take the 12 pounds off overnight? 
Hmm. She's so transparent. She is. She's very transparent. You can see right through her. I want to look good enough to make cringe TikToks. If you're 500 pounds, why are you still making thirst traps? Now, that is a fat phobic comment if I've ever heard one. Just saying. Ready? Okay. Slipping on. 498.2 pounds. 498.2. Thank the Lord. So I lost two pounds. Okay. I am very happy with that. All right. Is the boogeyman in here today? Don't mess with me. Do not mess with me. There's a rumor that I wear, that I wear. That you wear what? Huh. Um, now this might come off as fat phobic, but I don't mean for it to. See, here's the thing in life. You're allowed to be a shithead and say whatever you want. So as long as you preface it with, I don't mean to be mean, but see, that's how you can get away with it. That's how you are successfully an asshole. Now, I know that this might come across as awful, but that but, that comma but can save you a lot of problems in life. As long as you acknowledge it, it's fine. But um, yeah, I if I were Amber Lynn, I would be a whole hell of a lot scared of a lot of other things than the boogeyman that might be potentially hiding behind the shower curtain. Uh, yeah. Speak your truth. Jordy was deaf a mean girl in high school. I don't know what you're talking about. I really don't. Everyone that I went to high school with would tell you the opposite. Go ahead and ask them. Track them down and ask them. How tall is she? Five foot three. She's about to talk about something you brought up again. Maybe we are entering the reaction channel era of her fighting. Oh. Well, here, let's go back a little bit. Man in here today? Don't mess with me. Do not mess with me. There's a rumor that I wear, that I wear. <laughs> what? That I use. Slimming filters, I promise. <laughs> Your girl be looking this big in person too. Okay, I feel like it's a compliment in a weird way. Cause it's like, why would people think that? But literally all I do is I film on my um, phone. I have an iPhone by the way. So I film on my phone and then I edit on iMovie and that's literally it. Like there's no filters. But then when I start hearing, oh, Amber Lynn is using skinny filters. I start to think like, do I look <laughs> like a little smaller than usual? Yeah, we did talk about that. Was that, did we, was it yesterday? Was it Friday? Yeah. Wait, that was in yesterday's live stream. We said all that. Remember she was in the casino and she was holding her neck over to the side, looking at her mom. And I said that her face looked different than the one of her. Yeah. Oh, you think she's referring to us? Do you think that Amber Lynn watches these live streams? There's a rumor going around. Oh. Who's saying something like that? Who out here is saying that Amber Lynn is using slimming filters? Come forward. She must be lingering in the chat. You know how sometimes you can, well, I've seen this happen a few times. If you gift a membership in the, not, I'm not encouraging you guys to gift memberships, but if you gift a membership in the chat, 
it goes to someone random. So like of the, how many people are watching? Of the 600 people watching right now, if one of you gifted a membership, it would be assigned to a random viewer. Sometimes that random viewer that gets gifted the subscription is like Amber Lynn lurking. <laughs> I've seen it happen before to Sean Tall. Oh my God. It's so funny. Like in reaction channels, live streams, they'll gift these live streams and it'll pop up of like Sean Tall watching them. <laughs> it doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's so funny. Oh my God. Did I just gift a subscription to Amber Lynn? I don't know, but I saw that you gifted five memberships. Thank you so much for doing that stagnant water. We can't seem to get rid of you, can we, stagnant water? Hmm. Hmm. How are we going to get rid of you once and for all? But I really appreciate those membership gifts. Thank you so much. She didn't hear it on her live stream. Someone messaged her on Insta. You're right, Meg. You're right. She was not watching this live stream directly. Someone DM'd her on Instagram about it. That's how she always gets her info. I forgot. Yes, you're 100% correct, Meg. Like, I don't know what's happening. But I know I look like a frumpy mess today. I kind of feel like a frumpy mess, if we're being honest here. But no matter how much I say it, that I'm not using a filter, no one's going to believe that. Um, the only time I use a filter, like... I mean, I believe her. I do. I'm not being sarcastic either. I don't, I, I mean, I don't know. Just in the video from yesterday, somebody pointed it out. And in the one frame, when we were looking at her head on, it just looked very different from the one angle we saw of her in the casino. I mean, whatever. What's the hater's name? Javon. Javon is too quick witted and funny to be Amber Lynn. I haven't seen Javon recently though. Huh. Hi, Mushroom. Uh, bestie for the Resty 2008. Thank you for the super chat. I just got off work and I have to be back at 8 a.m., but I'm so glad I get to escape into girl world with you until then. Kisses, girly pop. Oh, thank you so much, Bestie for the Resty. 8 a.m. comes quick. Yes, it does. Don't stay up too late. You can always be a part of the Rewind Gang. Appreciate that. Thank you. You're a pathological liar. Why do we need to believe you? We have eyes. <laughs> well, regardless of what I say, people are always going to believe the opposite. So I might as well not even lie at this point because you guys don't believe my lies. <laughs> nice seeing you, LK Zoo. I haven't seen your name in a while. Not gonna lie, her makeup kind of ate. She's not bad at makeup. I mean, she's not like Amber Lynn MUA, but. Mm. You missed my super chat. No, I'm I'm just uh, a little bit behind Ghost of Aqua. I'm sorry. Oh, do you mean the one from before? Because I did read that one just like when I oh, like I took all of the old ones that I missed from the part one when my power went out i did i did address those so like you will hear it back then but like i see your new one coming up too especially like when i post uh photos and stuff is like the devil horns that's just like a fun filter that i just enjoy using um i have been better about taking unfiltered photos that's just like a a me problem you know just like a self-conscious me problem but i have been becoming more like confident in myself lately and i think it's because i am you know loving myself more and i feel like the only way you can change and be a better you is if you love yourself because if you hate yourself why are you going to want to fix yourself you're not going to be able to find that why when you're in the middle of hating yourself because i know for me i oh uh, my god I just, I don't need, like, the keep calm and carry on 2011 Tumblr motivational quotes. 
I just need her to do the damn work. You know, she makes everything so emotional. Weight loss does not have to be this big, emotional, philosophical rationalization. Well, I need to get myself in the perfect headspace before I can lose weight. Sometimes you just got to do it, hun. I mean, everything is so emotional for her. Like, she's she must be in her head all the time. Lecture Lynn. This is more like preach Lynn. This is this is like who are you telling this to? You or you or us? I mean, because uh, honestly, if you knew all this and you applied it to your life, okay, like obviously she knows what she she's doing. Like Amber Lynn's not stupid. She's knowledgeable about weight loss. She just doesn't do it. Like knowing is half the battle, but you can't just know and then not do. You gotta know and do. I just, I, I hate when she comes on here and gives these, these long speeches about self-love and self-motivation and like, okay. It's just exhausting. Jonisa, thank you so much. Is this second Easter? This is second Easter. I apologize. My power went out. I'll hide new Easter eggs. I would say she needs therapy, but we are her therapist. She's her own therapist in a way. Because, I mean, with all of, like, the journaling she does and talking out loud and vlogging, like, her emotions and her feelings... It's just like, it's not good to always be so in your head and so emotional about everything. It's like, sometimes you just got to shut up and do it. <sighs> Amber and Eugenia have been preaching lately. I just like, don't. Like, who, who are you preaching to, us or yourself? I mean, I know that she's standing in front of a mirror right now because she's in the bathroom. So maybe she's talking to herself, you know? Her self-care is going to Olive Garden and the casino. I... I, I People really be feeling invincible. I don't like like the cycle in of Amber Lynn is like she does a little bit of work, she makes a little bit of progress. She gives herself a reward for making a little bit of progress. She falls to pieces because she rewarded herself, and then she has this TED talk with herself, and she hypes herself back up and gets back to square one, and she says, "Okay, I'm ready to do it this time. I learned my lesson." I'm really ready to lose it all. And then she does the same thing. She needs to get to a point where she needs to stop rewarding herself. Like, you don't lose 11 pounds and then say, all right, Olive Garden time it is. And like, I get it. For so long, the only thing that's ever made her happy is food. So you have to learn to break that cycle. Like, you suffer while losing weight. But the only thing that will make you happy is the thing that will make you sad. Like, that's, that's the cycle you have to break. I mean, you can stand in your bathroom and preach to us and talk till the end of time about self-love and it doesn't matter how many times you fall down just it's about how many times you get up again it, it, it's like oh, okay but like we've heard this from her hundreds of times before she needs to write affirmations with her lipstick on the mirror like she got eliminated from drag race Uh, 
<sighs> Dude, sometimes you can't get out of your head. You can be stuck in there like a mosquito in tree sap. Well, she's been a mosquito in tree sap for 30 years now. I don't think that she's necessarily stuck in her head all the time. She just doesn't do anything with that information. It's almost as if she, like, she's feigning to the camera. She's, like, faking to herself that she knows what she's doing. Or she's, like, faking to the audience that she's on the right path. But she just always goes with the easy way out in the end. It's like there's always an excuse. There's always got to be a reason. It's like, okay. Well, I suffered all week by eating 2,000 calories a day. So I'm going to reward myself. But when I reward myself, that makes me gain weight, and gaining weight makes me sad. That, that that's the that's at the point where we have to stop. You can't be using food and Olive Garden endless soup and salad as the reward. You have to find happiness in other things in life. And I know it's easier said than done, but it's an addiction. She wants to change without actually changing. So, I mean, if you're able to make that urge to eat lesser, like, as if, if, if that's all that torments her in her mind, it's just like, you need to eat. Oh, it would make you so happy if you did this. Oh, let's go get Olive Garden soup and salad. That would make us so happy. If you're able to lesser that addiction so that you're not constantly being tormented with those kind of thoughts. I mean, you have it, it takes work, yeah. But there's also other things that can make that easier and make the burden less heavy. Buddhist Lynn. I know. She's about to reach enlightenment with this TED Talk in her bathroom right now. Ghost of Aqua, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you for getting me through my biomed engineering degree. Holy cow, biomedical engineering. Are you headed on to med school now? Ooh. That does not sound like an easy easy degree to obtain. Congratulations. Are, yeah, I guess it would be. Yeah. I mean, are you like graduated, graduated? Does it, when does college usually end in the spring semester? Like May? Yeah, I thought that college just had like another month. She needs to change her mentality with therapy. I mean, I agree that she should go to therapy, but it seems like every time she goes to therapy, the information she takes from it doesn't stick with her. Someone made a really interesting comment one time that they feel that Amber Lynn is the type of patient that a therapist would be easily, not easily, but they would be manipulated by. Like, they come across as very enthusiastic, very willing to change, but all the while, they're sabotaging themselves. But seeming like they're taking in everything that the therapist is saying and that they're putting their best foot forward, like they're feigning trying, but they would be good at manipulating the therapist into thinking that they're trying when actually they're not. So, I mean, like if you're sabotaging yourself at that point, I mean, I don't know. Can a therapist help with that? Oh, Pined Can Apple, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the shorties. Hello, Pined Can Apple. I know you're usually a Twitch person, but welcome to the other side. 
Jordy, you're describing an addict. Sorry, GERD. I think you're right, Sarah. I wasn't able to like improve as a person until I started to love myself and find that self-love. Because once you start to care about something, that's when you start to water it a little bit more and nourish it a little bit more in the way that you're supposed to. That's something I'm working on and I'm trying to actively- like Yeah, but baby, you told us two years ago you fell in self-love with her, with uh, Jade in season five. She taught you true love. She taught you what it was meant to love yourself. So, I, I mean, if you were able to love yourself throughout season five, why didn't the weight come off in season five? I, I, I mean, I feel like I've seen episodes where you have told us very confidently that you found self-love or you've made progress finding self-love, but... I, I just don't, I, I don't think that finding self-love equals weight loss. It's always going to come down to hard work. Like, that's like the one thing you can't skirt around. And it's like, you can, you can maneuver and rationalize and justify in your head and do all these gymnastics and get past a lot of your problems, but it's always going to come down to hard work. Like, that's the one thing you can't skirt around. You can make it easier. You can, you can lower the difficulty, but self-love is also discipline. Yeah. Self-love sometimes is not going to Olive Garden and doing endless soup and salad and pasta. I hate hard work. Most people hate hard work. And that's like the one thing about... Um, you know, having a body people are happy with. I mean, yeah, you can have a lot of surgeries done and everything, but like a truly healthy, strong body, it's like, that's not something that you can just buy. It takes a little bit of effort. This, this whole skip to the good part works in some ways in life, but not always. Amber needed a tiger mom growing up. I don't know if I've ever heard that term before. Tiger mom? I don't know what that means. Uh, Jonisa, thank you so much. If you look in the mirror and say girly pop three times, Amber Lynn pops out from behind the shower curtain, accusing you of rumors going around about her. Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna do that. The next time I walk in front of a mirror, mirror, girly pop, girly pop, girly pop. So I heard that you were saying that I use slimming filters in my vlogs. <laughs> like improve on that every single day. So, you know, it's just a journey, folks. But yeah. No slimming filters here. Definitely no filters to like, people say I'm using like skin filters too. No, this is my skin. I just have foundation on. So. Oh my God, we literally said in the live stream yesterday that she was using skin filters. Oh my God, she's literally talking about my live stream from yesterday. <sighs> oh my God. Ugh. Amber Lynn, don't you have anything else to do than watch these videos? I mean, really. Isn't that kind of narcissistic to watch videos about yourself? She watches you, Jordy. I mean, we literally just said about the whole slimming filters and the skin filters thing, and then now it's in an episode, so... I don't know. It's a little bit narcissistic. She has to just be obsessing about reaction channels. I mean, like, I don't mind that. I wouldn't mind if Amber Lynn entered a new, like, go after the reaction channels era. Because we're not getting anything else, you know?
No, there's no side characters. I mean, we can listen. We can only play bingo, go to the casino, and go to Torrid so many times. Um, she's really exhausted it. So we need to shake something up. I mean, she did shake it up a little bit there when she brought up that old drama with Narc Alert. That was fun for like a week. I don't know. You know. Eh. Is this a recent vlog? This was posted today. Yeah. Thirsty for Jordy. Appreciate the super chat. Hey, Amber, if you're in the chat, accept that you're not as hot as Jordy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can you even compare a boy to a girl with, like, hotness? <laughs> like, I, could, I can imagine, like, if you could compare me to, like, another dude, but, like, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but also, if Amber Lynn, if you're in the chat, can you unblock me on Instagram? Thanks. Your uh your profile picture kills me thirsty for Jordy. Amber Lynn makeup artist, thank you so much for the super sticker. <laughs> so people were saying that about Chantel too. It's a lot of like, you no, know, everyone watches me and Chantel. You know, the reactors react to me and Chantel, and it's a lot of the same rumors. We both use, you know, slimming filters. We both lie about our weigh-ins and rig the scale, and it's just a lot of the same. I feel like the rumors about lying about our weights are more likely to be true for Chantal than they are for Amber Lynn. That's the one thing I'll say. Nonsense, but I'm not going to be a part of that. I simply know who I am, and... Wait, her talking about it for the last two minutes. I'm not going to be a part of any of this. <laughs> her bringing it up. <laughs> but I'm just going to let y'all know, I don't want anything to do with this. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. I love it. She says that like Chantal hasn't admitted to the filter thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Chantal has admitted to it. Oh, boy. Tara Drury, thank you so much for the super sticker. Appreciate that, Tara. That's all that matters, so. Okay, so my plans for today, I'm actually going to be babysitting my step niece and nephew. So I'm getting ready to leave now. So I'm just grabbing my purse. And I also have to stop by USPS to mail off some important things. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I just had my sunglasses on. So that's why you see the little sunglass marks. Literally hate that. Okay, so the USPS, like, the guy was parked right next to a little, like, drop slot thingamajigger. So I just handed my actual, like, envelopes to him. And then as we were pulling out, like, me and my mom, we both, like, equally have, like, weird anxieties and, like, paranoias. And we were like, why is he even sitting there? So then we were like, should we go ask him? So we ended up going back in. And then when we realized he actually is a USPS worker because he was like taking all of the um, things out of the little area where we like drop our stuff in. You know what I'm talking about? What is that thing called? I don't even know what it's called, but it's just weird because me and my mom like have the same weird anxieties. We were like, wait a minute. Like when we pulled away, we're like, who the heck and why the heck? And why did we just give it to him so easily? I don't know. It was like a whole. Hmm. That's some pretty good mother-daughter bonding. Getting anxious over handing your letter to a mail service employee. A mailbox? I mean, I would I've always called those things drop boxes. Like that that like big blue thing that you can just drop. Yeah, I've always called that like a drop box. I mean, at like the UPS store around here, you can just walk in and like, if you have something to return to Amazon, for example, it's like you scan it and then you put it in a box and it's that simple. She's 
she felt weird about handing her letter to someone. Okay, so like he was in the middle of servicing the Dropbox and you handed your letter to him instead of dropping it in there. We really have nothing to talk about. We really have nothing to talk about. Good God. Welfare Girl, thank you so much for becoming a member again. Welcome back for another month. I don't like Live, Laugh, Love either, Jordy, but I do love your videos and lives covering her. Sorry, I don't like Live, <laughs> live Laugh, Lynn. Oh, I love that. Live, Laugh, Lynn. Ah, oh, she needs a sweatshirt that says that. Live, Laugh, Lynn. She, see, Amber Lynn's merch should be something like that. You know, live, laugh, Lynn. That's creative. That's creative. Amber Lynn is making me fall asleep. <sighs> Whole thing. Do you guys relate to that type of anxiety? No. <laughs> I'm a professional. A professional what? Guitarist. Guitarist? Yep. Awesome. Professional badass. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I have been home for a little bit. I had a great time. Now I'm just chilling like a villain. No, I'm actually editing this video and I'm going to schedule it for two days from now because I uploaded a video today. Or. Oh. Well, okay, so if she's saying that she's scheduling it two days from now, that would have been Wednesday. And we did the live stream saying that she uses filters on Thursday. So this is her covering her bases, saying that she filmed this before the live stream where we accused her of using filters. So... Assuming she's telling the truth right here, that means she was addressing other rumors that people were saying in the community that, that did not come from the live stream from yesterday. We all following? Huh. So, I guess that that means I think that I'm more important than I actually am. I think that that's the only logical conclusion here. Hi, Pink Pastel. Is it babysitting if her mom has to babysit her while babysitting? I, I wasn't even, honestly, I wasn't even really listening. I just saw the Legos and rolled my eyes. But, like, what what is this? Is this, like, the girl that she bought the coloring book for or whatever? Okay. Shay W, thank you so much for the super chat. My friend Jay Lynn loves your videos and it's her birthday. Oh my God, Jay Lynn, if you're watching this, happy birthday to you. Hope you're having a very special day on this lovely April 13th. Thank you for enjoying my videos. Or she said it on purpose. Or she did film this two days ago or three days ago or whatever. And then she filmed this bathroom scene today and then strategically placed it earlier in the vlog to make it look like chronological order mm, sneaky sneaky today or day after tomorrow yeah that's in two days <laughs> I really do want to try uploading more for you guys. And I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job so far. Like, especially in this last, like, week or a little over a week. I feel like I've been doing pretty good. It's just been a hard time, like, vlogging. I don't know. Like, Well, yeah, because you don't do anything and there's nothing to talk about. I mean, you have no friends. You have your mom. You don't tell us anything about your personal life, assuming you have a personal life to talk about. 
it's very likely that she doesn't have a personal life that she could even tell us about even if she wanted to. I've just been having a hard time vlogging lately. Well, there's, I, I mean, when you sit around all day, you don't work, you don't have any friends. I mean, you don't really bring anything to the table in terms of conversation. So, yeah, that, that makes sense that vlogging's difficult. She does, too, have friends, Jordy. Oh, yeah, that's right. They all, um... They all flew in and they went to Korean barbecue together. I forgot. I forgot about that. LEV, thank you so much. Lesson in consistency and progress. It's long and boring. Ted talks to manifest feelings and manifest actions with real goals, short and long term, day by day, week by week. Well put, LEV. Appreciate that super chat. Thank you. Thank you. I would love to hear Amberlynn's TED Talk. She wouldn't even have to film it in the traditional TED Talk stage, you know, where it says like TEDx in the background. She could just do it from her bathroom. I think that that company would be okay with that. They would make an exception. What's up with Amber's brother? Do they talk? Um, yeah, like... Well, I mean, not that I care too much to, like, dive into, like, her personal life or whatever, but uh, her step-niece. So that would mean her brother is dating someone that has kids from a previous relationship? Is that what that means? I didn't know that any of Amber Lynn's siblings lived local. What does she have? Two brothers? She has two younger brothers? Oh, I, I mean, I don't know. Are they her mom's boyfriend's grandkids? <gasps> you know what? That actually makes more sense, Archer lady. Yeah. But like... <sighs> yes. That's what it is, Archer Lady. Yes. It's her stepbrother's kids. Yeah. Okay, it's her... It's her... Well, they're not married, so, like, you can't even call him your stepdad, really. I mean, I, I don't know. It's her mom's boyfriend's grandchildren. That's what it is. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Step niece. Or maybe it's her stepsister's kids. I mean, I don't know. Has she said whether or not it's her? I mean, not that it matters, I guess. But yeah, that's what it is. It's it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm glad that I was able to figure that out as slow as possible. It seems like when I have more going on in life, I film less. I don't know what that's about, and I need to figure it out. I need to figure out a balance. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. When she has more going on in life, she films less. Hey, you guys. So my TDEE -E has been a very popular topic lately. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's literally... Oh, my God. Literally another thing we just talked about. Her T D E E. <laughs> it's almost as if she's been lurking about. My T D E E has been a popular topic recently. The only thing that Amber Lynn has to talk about are what people are saying about her. So, like, I am quite literally creating Amberlynn's content for her. So that means I should get a cut. You know? I, I should be entitled to some type of compensation. You know? Alex was talking about her TDEE. -E. Well, then she owes royalties to Alex then. Mm-hmm. 
she better slip into the neck uh she better slip into the next Alex stream and drop a super chat. Cause he's quite literally creating content for her. Obsessed. Obsessed. Really just like a little calculator where you put your height, your weight, and your gender, and it comes up with a calorie limit that'll help you lose weight. But people are forgetting about everything else that goes into how easy it is for someone to lose weight and the amount of calories that they need to lose weight. So I kind of want to explain that to you guys. And the best way for me to do it is to do it on paper. Oh my God. I have like Amber Lynn would be the last person that I would want this concept explained to me by. So... As you guys know, I'm about 500 pounds. And when I put just those simple things, 500 pounds, I'm 5'3", and I'm a female, it comes up that I need 2,900 calories to lose weight. And as you guys know, I have expressed this. I don't think that that's what it means when we brought it up on the calculator. It means that BMR, that's what your body burns per day, but just by you existing. So many different times that eating 2,900 calories makes me gain weight. It does not make me lose weight. And then people call me a liar, but I would like to explain why. So when I saw the lipedema specialist, she told me. See, like, why do we even have to do all this? Like, why does why do we need the arrows and the parentheses and the asterisks and every? I mean, it's girl. It's like you're just not putting in the work. Like, fuck all of this. Fuck this notebook paper. Throw this all away. Just uh, this is just silly. It's silly. Estimation. I have about this is like when she would get on here and she would show us graphs and decimal points and everything like this this is not helpful 150 pounds of lipedema on my body large portions of that is on my legs especially my calves but that weight is not taken into account when you go into a tdee calculator so with 150 pounds of lipedema i cannot lose that weight by lessening my calories I cannot lose that weight probably ever unless I get it surgically removed or I have the fat literally sucked out of me. So that would mean, let's just say I put 350 calories in the TDEE calculator because 500 minus 150 is 350. So that comes out to 2100 calories, which I have explained several times that that is about the amount where I lose weight, that is- I would love to show this to my doctor. There was like one time where I asked my doctor an Amber Lynn related question. I don't remember what it was about. And she was just so weirded out. Like just bewildered. I would love to take this two minute clip and send it to her and say, hey, what are your thoughts on this? She does have good handwriting, though. She's always writing, you know? She's like, practice makes perfect, I guess. I cannot lose weight unless I get it surgically removed. It's the only way. Hi, Fly Girl. Femme Marie, thank you so much for renewing your subscription. Welcome back for your fourth month. Holy cow. Her problem is she doesn't target the specific behaviors that cause her harm. She speaks in generalities, but has no plan for actual practical action. Reminds me a lot of Eugenia. Eugenia speaks in very generalities, as you put it. And if there is an actual plan, she has that oh shit moment, this is going to take effort. Well, let me find a way that doesn't take effort. I mean, you can search the ends of the earth until you find that. Let me know if you do find that. But 
for most always when it comes to weight loss, it's going to take a little bit of hard work and a little bit of self-discipline. <sighs> Thanks so much, Femme Marie. Welcome back for another month. Someone debunked a theory on her weight loss. I'm pretty sure they got it spot on. Professor Lin is teaching. Yeah, maybe if YouTube um, doesn't become as, you know, livable wage for Amber Lin anymore, maybe she could go and teach, I don't know, like an online class in nutrition or algebra. You know, there's a lot of remote teachers out there that do online classes. What's TDEE? -E? It's a formula for total daily energy expenditure. So basically for your height and weight, that's the allotment of calories that your body gets per day, basically. She can be a weight loss inspir inspirational speaker. I'm thinking either public speaker or college professor for online classes. Online tutor. She could do preschool. Did they have online preschool? She could teach preschool online if it's just coloring, like coloring 101. I don't know. I mean, I'm like just trying to like, you know, spitball here. We could find uh, her a new job if she feels that vlogging is too boring or she doesn't have anything to talk about. A 150 pound leg is literally a person attached to each leg. Yeah. I'm just picturing Exodia in my head. Like the left leg of the Forbidden One. Or like when people get a trench coat and stack on each other's shoulders to try to sneak into movie theaters to avoid paying for three separate tickets. This is why I tell you guys, I try to stay below 2,000 calories, and people are like, that's too little, I don't get it, she could eat so much and lose weight. That's not how it works. Plus, I have... Look, look, plus written in caps. Look at this. Plus, dot, dot, dot. So in addition to all of this girl math, plus I have all these other excuses. Okay, so now she's giving us a bullet list as to why her body can't live. Okay. I would love to see her explain this to Dr. Now. <laughs> Done a lot of yo-yo dieting which is not taken into account when you do the TDEE calculator. I have a very low metabolism for several reasons. Not only that, but I have gone through menopause at a very young age due to uterine cancer. And when your estrogen decreases, it causes weight gain. It does for a lot of people. And my hormone levels, let's, let's not even look into that because the TDEE calculator does not care. Due to me having uterine cancer and having a full hysterectomy, my hormone levels are crazy out of whack, which all of these things affect weight loss, weight gain, your weight in general, and how many calories you need to eat to lose weight. So have you guys ever seen a skinny person eat tons of food with little to no activity, but they never- This is like a school project, you know? When kids get up in front of the class and they have a PowerPoint presentation. I feel like we're getting to like the final slide. 
This this is this is a high school classroom PowerPoint presentation. And like on the rubric that the teacher gives you, it's like provide an example. And this is her providing the example so that she gets the five out of five on the rubric. So let's apply what we've learned. Have you ever seen a skinny person eat tons of food with little to no activity, but they never gain weight? Have you ever wondered why that is? Well, let me explain that to you. (laughs) Oh my God. She could be a teacher because you know what? Amber Lynn likes like notes and putting together shit like this. Yeah. Yeah. You know, she hasn't sent anyone to the principal's office yet. I feel like she would be a good teacher. You think she should go to med school? Well, if Faber Lynn went to med school now, she could get her MD by the time she's 41. And then she could be practicing by 45. She'd be a cute second grade teacher. Goral splaining. Is that like mansplaining? Goral splaining? Um, Bex Sassy Bear thank you so much for the super chat LEV thank you again one cycle on a habit mm. the kids may be brutal to her kids are mean like really mean But I don't know. Amberlynn has pretty thick skin. If she can put up with all of these nasty, rude, disgusting, horrible reaction channels, I think that she could deal with a couple of mean kids. It's girl world common core math. No child left behind. The kids would be very mean. I did have a school nurse that got stuck in a door frame. I want to say, what was that? Was that fourth grade or fifth grade? But I don't even remember the nurse's name at the time, but she, she was so big. She got stuck in the door frame. And then all of my gym teachers, you know, it's, it's just like, I under like, I feel like with certain professions, there's an expectation of kind of practicing what you preach. So like if you're someone that stands for physical fitness and physical health, why were all of my phys ed teachers K through 12 morbidly obese? I always wondered that. You know how, like, sometimes gym teachers were supposed to, like, demonstrate for you and, like, show you how to do things? Like, our gym teachers would always, like, be seated and say, like, yeah, go do that. The door frame was probably kid-sized. I don't know. I mean, do they make that in mind when they're building... Built when they're building buildings that are meant for kids. I guess I don't go to a lot of buildings that are meant for kids to know. Josh Doherty has a gut and he's a track coach. Oh, I, I don't even mean just like a gut. I, I mean like, like massive. 
Yeah, no, not not even like a beer belly. No, 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 no. LEV, thank you again. Can you please can you please sprinkle in some secret bait gossip? I don't know if I have any secret bait gossip, unfortunately. I mean, Amber Amberlynn's like community as a whole, like it's just kind of so it it's like I feel like the community anymore is very retro reactive based. Like if there's anything to talk about, it's from the past. Like people people would much rather have a discussion on Shrimpgate versus what we're looking at right here. So like in terms of like up to date, in the now, special secret drama, gossip. I don't really have any. I'm sorry. My gym teacher was so mean. Ever gain weight? Well, that's because every single body is different. And not only that, but there is metabolic rate testing. And the reason why they have that is because everyone is different. So it's a machine where you literally just blow your oxygen into the machine and it'll tell you exactly how many calories you need to eat to lose weight. And they do that because of all of these reasons. There are so many people who go through these things and they can't lose weight quick enough. They don't understand what they're doing wrong because of things like a TDEE calculator who only want simple things like your gender. For the most part, like just life experience, the people that I have come across and I've encountered, the people that have a difficult time losing weight are the ones that don't put in the hard work and make up excuses. Not all this mumbo jumbo of these like calculations she's making here. I mean, what she's describing to us is she's saying, well, it's basically impossible for her to lose weight. I mean, like, who who are you even rationalizing this to, us or yourself? I mean, does it make you feel better? Like, when she steps on the scale and she gains 12 pounds, does doing all of this on a piece of notebook paper make her feel better? Hmm... Brianna Cooney, thank you, thank you. I'm Amber's height, and it says I only need 1,500 calories. Well, I don't know if TDEE says it, like, the amount of calories you need. It's just it gives you, like, your BMR. So, like, that just tells you, without exercising, that's how much your body burns per day. Jordy, calculate TDEE for 350. Is it 2100? No. I mean, what was it at 500? 2900? I'd imagine she's burning more at 2100. I mean, at 350 than just that. All our gym teachers were athletes. All like uh, like all of my high school gym teachers were older. Like I would I would say like in their sixties, and they were all like massive. Tara Jury, thank you again for the super sticker. your height and your weight but never takes into account everything else there are so many other reasons why it's hard for people to lose weight and it's like some people have thyroid problems thankfully i don't but this is why when people tell me about the tde calculator i i simply roll my eyes because there's so much more to it 
There, like, really isn't, though. I mean, for real, so, like, it, like, this is so frustrating. I mean, like, I, 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 like, mentally gave up on Amber Lynn a long time ago. But, like, to someone watching this for the first time, like, it, it's really not even worth arguing with her about it. It's, uh, okay, Amber, yeah. It's, it's impossible for you to lose weight. Okay, yeah. It's like one big excuse written across a paper. Mm hmm. To whom this may concern, she's saying she's special. Yes. She's a medical mystery. I can't lose weight through diet and exercise because of this, 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 and this. Because she wants more seconds to fill up her video. I mean, if Amber Lynn was a stickler for content like that, she would have just made the video like eight minutes and one second. Okay, well, um, I don't know, y'all. Do you think that Amber Lynn successfully clapped back at Hater Nation? Do you think that she Z-snapped her way into rationalizing why TDEE -E doesn't work for her? Science doesn't apply to her, apparently. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. She's so exhausting. I just hate when people put so much effort and emotion and energy into bullshit. It's like if she used all of the energy that she puts into backing up her stupid claims. I don't know. She might actually get somewhere. <laughs> Aunt Mandy appreciate the super chat this is like an addict justifying why they can't quit it's just like the bottom line guys this is why I can't lose weight it's like the bottom line is you need to and you can no amount of excuses or notebook paper is going to change that fact. Thank you for that, Mandy. Tara again, hello. She can't lose weight. She needs surgery and meds. I can't do it on my own. I need surgery and or medication. It's the only way. Is she in absolute denial? Yeah. She has to be. I mean, th this this is this this little bit here at the end. This has just been so exhausting. There's no other way to put it. There's no other way to put it. Fat Booty CJ, thank you for the super chat. I discovered your channel like three days ago while I was really sad and depressed, but you're funny AF and I binge your lives while I work. So thanks, Jordy. Oh, well, thank you so much, CJ. I appreciate the compliment. Glad you're enjoying the lives. Hopefully we see your name pop up more. 
We always appreciate a newcomer. What phase of the cycle are we in? Uh, Amber Lynn read cycle chart. Oh, here it is. Ba -ba -da -ba. Where is it? Mm -hmm. ba -ba -ba -ba. Open image. Here it is. And I will follow my heart. Okay, um, so sorry, hopefully y'all can see that. I think that's as big as it's gonna get. Well, unless I made it full screen and I put myself in the middle. Um, ignorance. Zero mentions of her weight loss goal and plans. No, she's still doing that. Indignation. Addressing the haters and comments. Okay. Weight loss goal finally addressed. Yes. Haters are to blame. Yeah. Okay, so we're blaming the haters with the whole TDEE -E thing. I want to say we're in phase three right now. Mm-hmm. Blames BED. I'm just being honest. Continues to eat huge amounts of garbage. I want to say that we're in You think you're you think she's in phase 4? I can't do this. I don't know how I let this happen. Taking zero accountability. Maybe she's in like 3.5. I'm so grateful for my girlfriend and supporters. We heard that in yesterday's video when she came on here and said, you know, I don't need the haters. Or I, I just, uh, I can take the trash. I hope the trash takes itself out. I'm here for the people that are watching me genuinely. So we're getting some traits of this, some traits of this. Mm, going out to eat. Olive Garden. Zero mention. Yeah, no, she's mentioning it. So maybe like, it's like, maybe this is going to be a very fast cycle. Because if, if we were in phase two with the Walmart, or sorry, the Olive Garden episode, and then we overnight kind of went into phase three like this, where she's blaming the haters, the reaction channels, continuous eating of huge amounts of garbage, aka the 12 pound gain. We haven't seen shopping go into overdrive. Although she did buy a lot of stuff for her step niece. Two point five. YouTube hiatus. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it is between two and three. Maybe not three and four. Because we haven't heard a lot of I can't do this. I mean, there's no T 
taking zero accountability, but I feel like accountability is never taken. So that could be in any of the four cycles. We're death in phase three. Does Amber Lynn actually not want to lose weight? No, I think that she does want to lose weight. She's just so attached to food in an unhealthy way that she can't. I mean, why would you want to be in pain all the time? That's what I said at the beginning of the stream. It's like, wouldn't wouldn't not being able to breathe be a good motivator? Yeah, well, I'd imagine after this, we'll continue to see some more of her complaining about reaction channels or the haters blaming things such as what's in this category right here. So, I mean, if she gets back up, if she gains like another 10 pounds or whatever, 5, 12, I think that that's what she started out with, like at the beginning of the, at the, beginning of the year. I think she was like around 5, 10. Oh, interesting. LEV, thank you again. Secret bait gossip for li for live. Laugh to see if she's here. Oh. <laughs> no. Amber Lynn has many, many, many other better ways to spend her time than to watch a stupid stream like this. So I highly, highly, highly doubt she's here right now. Sorry, y'all. Oh, we still have 10 seconds. Than just the gender and height that I am. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Oh. She sounds so enthusiastic there at the end. Thanks for watching this shit. See you next time. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, y'all. Well, it is about 1 a.m., so I am going to get off here. Sorry about the whole mishap earlier with the power shutting off. That was weird. <sighs> um, we won't be here tomorrow because I will be away for a concert, but there will be pre-recorded videos going live tomorrow, most likely. I think of Eugenia and or Foodie Booty. So we shall see. We shall see. I hope everyone has a good rest of their night and an even better weekend. I um, will see you all very, very soon. Until next time.